potential energy. Uh, in this chapter, I want to talk about the uh, elastic potential energy and the gravitational potential energy. In general, the notation of potential energy is PE, okay? Or you can write U. You have two notations of the potential energy. So first of all, uh, we talk about the gravitational potential energy. Is written by P E G or U G. In general, uh, uh, we talk about uh, P E G when we have mg, the weight. Uh, the uh, gravitational potential energy depends on the height equals to mg times h. Second, we have elastic potential energy P, E, small e, potential energy elastic, or you can say U, E, equals to half K, X square. So when we have a spring, we can talk about the elastic potential energy. The unit of the potential energy in general is in Joule. Okay, let's talk first of all about the gravitational potential energy. Here we have uh, P, E, J in the case where we have the weight, Mg. Let's take an example, we have a book at this point, let's take this point as the initial position of the object. We can say uh, uh, I, where the velocity at this point equals to zero. Okay, I want to move up the object to the final position at this point. Also at the end, at the final point, uh, we have a zero velocity and speed. I move the object up slowly, okay? So uh, when I say the uh, uh, motion is slowly, I mean V is constant between the initial position and the, vi and the final position. Uh, and here, let's say FA, F applied of the external agent, okay? So we have a displacement between the initial point and the final point, DR, is the displacement, you know the displacement, connect the initial point to the final point. DR, in general, equals to DX, plus dy. As you see here, we don't have uh, x displacement. We have just y displacement. And dy is in the uh, j direction. So we can say dy j. So delta r equals to dy equals to y final minus y initial. J. When, uh, okay, we have to write the reference of the uh, problem. We have x and y. Here, y 
and X. As you see, the initial position is at Y initial. And the final position is at Y final. Here we have the origin. Okay. Uh, I have to calculate the work done by FA and also the work done by MG because the only forces applied on the object are uh, FA and MG. Okay, FA, omega FA equals two. As you see here, FA has the same direction with the displacement. So we have to write plus. And here I put the absolute value of FA and the displacement. Here we have FA and the displacement equals to Y final minus Y initial. Okay, uh, you know, I want to calculate FA. If we have, uh, we can apply Newton's law, as you see, uh, by, applying Newton, uh, by applying Newton's law, FA plus MG equals to O, because V is constant. Okay. Uh, FA is up, alors in the direction of plus FA of plus G, MG in the negative direction equals to zero. You can write here J, okay? And because we have only one dimension, we don't need to write J. So FA equals to mg. We substitute the value of fa here, okay? Okay, I can uh, erase fa equals to mg. Equals to fa mg y final minus y initial. So we have M G Y final minus M G Y initial. You know, uh, M G Y is the potential energy. So we have the final potential energy minus the initial potential energy. We can uh, write finally, the work done of FA equals to uh, potential energy final minus potential energy initial. You know, uh, the initial potential energy at, at this point and the final potential energy at this point when the object moves to this point. Initially at this point, as a point initial, we have a potential energy initial equals to mg times the height, y initial. At the final point, the potential energy final equals to mg times the height equals to y final. So the work done by FA equals to the final potential energy MGY final minus the initial potential energy MGY initial. Okay. Now I want to calculate the work done by MG. equals to mg is opposite to the displacement. 
So we have negative and we write the absolute value of mg and the displacement y final minus y initial. Okay, equals to minus uh, y final minus y initial. We can say here uh, m mg y final minus m g y initial we can write uh, it must be positive because we have the absolute value of the total we can say like this the absolute value between this point and this point, the total. Okay, uh, so we get here, this one is the final potential energy equals to minus potential energy final minus potential energy initial. So equals to minus delta potential energy between the initial point, the position initial, and the position final. Because we can change the position as we like. I want to calculate uh, the work done between uh, position one and two, okay? So at the end, we can write uh, omega, uh, mg equals to minus delta potential. We can say here we have minus potential energy final minus potential energy initial equals to minus delta potential. And this one also equals to delta potential. So we can have uh, the final uh, result. We can see that omega Fa equals to minus omega Mg. This is the general result we have to know. Uh, under the condition, uh, 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 with the motion between the initial and the final position must be slowly, very slow to get constant velocity, okay? We have a slow displacement, slow motion between the initial position and the final position. You have to know very well that the work done by Mg equals to minus delta potential energy. And the work done by an external agent with a slow motion equals to delta potential energy. Let's take another um, uh, analysis. Here we can, uh, before, Uh, here at the initial position, what we have, the total energy here, as you know, we have, uh, we don't have velocity. So the kinetic energy initial equals to O because equals to have MV square. At this point, uh, we don't have elastic, we don't have spring, we don't, we don't have spring. So the potential energy elastic, we don't have because no spring. 
So we have only the potential energy G, which is equal initial equals to M G Y initial. And as the final state, uh, we don't have kinetic. We don't have elastic. We have just the potential energy G final, which is equal to M G Y final. So in the case, the first case here, we have E total, uh, just I want to, uh, and the work done by FA equals to the potential energy final minus the potential energy initial, okay? So the potential energy final equals to potential energy initial plus omega Fa. This is in general. You have to understand these steps. What we have here, which kind of energy we have. But let me uh, have this resolution. So the final potential energy equals to the initial potential energy plus omega Fa. So the work done by FA is converted to a potential energy because the initial potential plus this quantity of energy are converted to the potential energy. So in this case, we have to say that the work done by FA is converted to a potential energy. Okay, it's clear now. Here, I consume a quantity of energy as work to move the object up. And here we gain more potential energy. The potential energy here equals the potential energy initial plus the consumed work energy, so here we have the initial potential plus omega Fa. So omega Fa is converted to a potential energy. Now let's take the object is at this position. Uh, here we have position one. Uh, I release the object uh, without initial velocity. So here we have V1 equals to O. Initially, the object was at the height Y1. Uh, and the object is falling down. When the object arrive at this position two here, So here we have the book at this point. The object will be at the height Y2. Here we have Y2. And the object is moving down with a velocity V2. Okay, uh, the total force applied on the object is the weight. We have just the weight is down, and here we have the weight. Okay, I want to, I ask you to calculate the uh, work done by MG. 
you can apply the relation directly. Omega mg equals to minus delta potential energy. G. At the position one, uh, we have P E G equals to M G. Here we have position one, M G Y one. And at the position two, we have P E G. Okay, here we have P E G one. Here P E G two. M G Y two. So omega M G equals to minus P E G uh, uh, two equals to M G Y two minus M G Y one. Okay. Uh, let's say here y2 equals to 5, m, and y1 equals to 10. So, omega mg equals to minus uh, mg2. We have uh, also m equals to 1 kilogram. We get 1. Let's say G equals to 10 times 10 times um, Y2, 5 minus M times 10 times Y1. Okay, uh, Y1 equals to 10. We get here minus 50 minus 100 equals to minus minus 50 so equals to plus 50 joule you know it's a positive uh, value why because mg and the displacement have the same direction here we have the displacement between the initial point to the final point displacement uh, dy okay because you don't have dx in general dr uh, as mg and dr have the same direction the work must have a positive value like this okay as you see we can use this relation directly directly okay uh, now let's talk about uh, the uh the energy at any point here uh, at each point uh at the position one here up we don't have velocity so kind of uh, energy uh pardon at, uh, at the position one we don't have velocity so the kinetic energy at this point one equals to o because we have have mv square at this position we have height so we must have a potential energy equals to m g y uh, y1 we don't have spring so we don't have elastic this one g we don't have elastic potential energy okay at the position one equals to all. The only energy here, the total energy at the position one equals the gravitational potential energy. Okay. Now let's take the final position. At the final posi position, we have a, a velocity. So here we have uh, the kinetic, energy equals to have 
mv square as a position two. At this point two, we have a potential energy G, which is equal to m G y2. And we don't have spring, so the elastic potential energy equals to O. So here, the total uh, energy at this position two, here the total energy at the position one, equals to the kinetic plus potential. So here we have a kinetic energy plus potential energy G. So uh, this uh, potential energy at this position is, and at the position two, we have the kinetic and the potential. So this uh, potential energy is converted, a part of this energy is converted to the kinetic and the other part is converted to the uh, potential energy. In the case of isolated system in general, if we have an isolated system, any case in our study here, uh, always we have isolated system. The summation of energy must be uh, conserved, okay? We must have the same total energy. So uh, in this case, the potential energy at one equals to the kinetic energy two plus the potential energy two. Okay, this is in general. This point is very important. In the case of isolated system, the total energy must be constant. You know, the total energy, um, I mean, it's a mechanical energy. Here we can talk about the mechanical energy. In general, the mechanical energy, Me. Me, let's take, first of all, the case one here. Me equals to the potential energy plus the kinetic energy for the case one, for the case one. So here, uh, the potential energy at the case one, we have P E G one plus, we don't have velocity in this case. So we don't have velocity. This is a mechanical of the state one. And the mechanical of state two, or the total energy is the same. Mechanical energy two equals to the potential energy two plus the kinetic energy. If, in, uh, if the system is isolated, in the case of isolated system, the mechanical energy initial at any point equals to the mechanical energy final. If I take between this point and this point, or between this point 
one and this point. Between any points, the mechanical energy must be the same, must, must be conserved. So we have the same mechanical energy here. Uh, Me1 equals to the potential energy G1 equals Me2 equals to the potential energy uh, G2 plus the kinetic two. It's an important point when we talk about the isolated system, the mechanical energy must be equal at any two positions. So here, uh, what we have to know in general, the mechanical energy equals the kinetic plus potential. This is the general relation. Uh, kinetic here equals to have M v square and the potential we have two kinds of potential energy uh, in general we have uh, mgh potential energy pe g and in the case of a spring if we have a spring you have to add the potential energy elastic okay in our case here we don't have spring we don't talk about this. In the case of isolated system, the mechanical energy at the position one equals to Me at the position two. And you can say here uh, that uh, Me2 minus Me1 m e2 minus m e1 equals to zero so delta mechanical energy equals to zero in the case of isolated system okay